Hello everyone, in this lesson we are starting the lighting process. As you know, V-Ray has its own sun and sky systems. When we go to the environment, there is a background that works with the sun and the sunlight is as you see. We will work on test renders before the full render. Let's see how do we raise default lights turn out. We select the interactive render and we close anti-aliasing filter. I am setting the interactive render from height to medium. I also select the denoiser and I am using NVIDIA AI. This is a hardware acceleration noise cleaner. It is faster than the other. In our full render, we will use the V-Ray denoiser instead. The reason is the V-Ray denoiser is more accurate, while the other one cleaners faster but router. You might end up losing data. My graphic card is GTX 1060. I am using a laptop. However, if you are using a desktop with new generation RTX graphics card, this process will be a lot faster. We run the interactive render. How the rendering in the TLAs depend on your scene complexity. So I am stopping the recording here. The render has started and as you can see the noiser kick in rapidly. You can see it reacts on the fly when you play around with SketchUp shadows. This is only the V-Ray sun and sky system. You can get sunrise and sunset ambience by playing with the settings. You can also navigate in the scene. V-Ray will update the view after a short pause. I am going back to my main point of view. When I go back to my point of view, the V-Ray Sun also reverts to its default state. I had set it to sunrise just before. Now I am setting it to sunset instead. You can set the hour and month from above. If you want to use real location for the building sun analysis, you can bring up the terrain from file, geolocation, add location. SketchUp Shadow will now adjust to the sun position at the project's real geographic position. If you want to produce a more realistic render work with your client, you can determine if your building receives sunlight or not. I mention it, we have V-Ray Sun on the scene. When the sunlight is turned off, only background will illuminate the scene. Sometimes my works hang like this. As you can see, when I turn off the V-Ray Sun, the sun has disappeared and only background is left. You can also set the background to sunrise and sunset. V-Ray make these calculations very fast. If you are new to V-Ray, you can learn to control the lighting with these settings. However, if you want the more realistic rendering, I suggest you to use high dynamic range. HDRI is 
accurate by a spherical photography technique. I had mentioned this in previous lessons. I will use this for primary illumination and this one for the background. I want the clouds to be visible. I have not placed this HDRI to the work set. You can get them from their links provided below. I will start the full render shortly. In short, you can start with V-Ray Sun and V-Ray Sky. I will add an HDRI to a doom light shortly. And I will show you the difference. See you next lesson.